proves true, and he beseeched me to entreat your majesties to hear and see the matter. With all my heart, and it doth content me much to hear him so inclined. Good gentlemen, give him a further edge and drive his purpose into these delights. And for your part, Ophelia, I do wish that your good beauties be the happy cause of Hamlet's wildness. Sir, so shall I hope that your virtues will bring him to his wonted way again. does your honor these many a day? Okay, thank you. Well. My lord, I have remembrances of yours I have long and long to re-deliver. I pray you receive them. No, not I. I never gave you aught. My honored lord, you know right well you did. And with them words of so sweet breath composed that made these things more rich. Their perfume lost, take them again. For to the noble mind, rich gifts wax poor when givers prove unkind. There, my lord. Are you honest? My lord. Are you fair? What means your lordship? Indeed, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. I loved you not. I was the more deceived. to a nunnery. <laughs> Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? I am myself indifferent, honest, and yet I could accuse me of more things that were better my mother had not borne me. I'm very proud, revengeful, ambitious, with more offenses at my back than I have thoughts to put them in. Imagination to give them shape, time to act them in. Where is thy father? Let the doors be shut upon him that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. Get thee to a nunnery. Thus, Mary, I give thee this plague for thy dowry. Be thou as chaste as ice, as pure as snow, thou shalt not escape calumny. Get thee to a nunnery. Go, farewell. I say we shall have no more marriage. Those that are married already, all but one, shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. To a nunnery. Go. 